Adam. What are you doing? Oh, hey Valerie, didn't see you there. I'm counting tree rings. Counting what? Tree rings. Did you know that you can tell the age of a tree by counting its rings? Wow, that is so cool. Can you tell me more? Sure. Hi everyone, I'm Valerie. And I'm Autumn. So today we are gonna explore trees. They are all around us, but what do we know about them? Trees are awesome. They give us clean air through photosynthesis. We use them for food and building materials. And so many animals are dependent on them for shelter, food, and so much more. Yeah, that's true. But did you know that they're also great storytellers? Really? How do trees tell us stories? Through their rings. I'll show you. Each year in the spring and summer, trees grow and they get bigger, just like you get bigger every year. So they get taller every year? Yes, but it actually also gets bigger around on the trunk. And that is where you see tree rings. How often do trees grow a new ring? Every year. Early in the spring, trees grow a lighter colored wood and in the summer, the wood is darker. So like all living things, trees are made up of cells. And in the lighter colored wood, those cells are larger and the walls are thinner. In the darker wood, the cells are smaller with thicker walls, and because they're more tightly packed together, they look darker. And that's why you get dark wood. So a light and a dark band together represent one year of a tree's life. Yep. That is so cool. Can you show us how we count tree rings? Sure. Uh, here's an example of a tree. Let's count the number of tree rings together. Ready? One. Two, three, four, five. That means the tree is five years old. You guys can check out the attached activity below so you can practice on your own at home. Awesome. How old do trees get, Autumn? Well, some trees can be hundreds of years old and sometimes even thousands of years old, like the Methuselah tree here. Wow, thousands of years old they would have lived through so many different lifetimes. Definitely. And scientists actually just found a tree that lived over 42,000 years ago. It was excavated from a bog where it was preserved in almost perfect condition. And looking at this tree's rings will allow scientists to learn what the world was like 42,000 years ago. Wait, how did they do that? Well, by looking at the rings, scientists can tell what the climate was like, what conditions were like hundreds, thousands, and even with trees living today, years ago. That is amazing. Yeah, so let me show you how it works. Let's take a look at another tree ring. Do you see the middle part here? This was the first year the tree was alive. It's big, and that means the tree got enough sunlight, water, and nutrients to grow. What about these smaller and more uneven rings? Yeah, well, in those years, there may not have been enough water, for example. Um, a smaller ring could mean that there was drought that year or a lack of rain. A smaller ring could also mean it was a lot colder that year, so the tree grew a lot less. And that can tell us about the past climate. On this ring, do you see the dark band? Yeah, this shows us that there was a fire that year. The tree was burned and it was scarred and it got darker, but it kept growing after the fire was put out. So looking at how old the tree was when the fire occurred tells us that there were a fire a certain number of years ago. So these tree rings are helping us to understand what was happening in our past. Yeah, it's like telling the story of your life. That gives me a really great idea. We could make a tree ring of our own lives. Here are the supplies you're gonna need. Colored paper, scissors, a glue stick, pencil, string, a whole bunch or something else to make a hole with, and things to draw circles with. I have some dishes from the kitchen. And I have a compass. First thing you need to do is draw a circle for each year of your life. So if you're 10 years old, you need to draw 10 circles but you need to make sure that each circle is bigger than the last. Oh, why do we need to make sure that they get bigger? 
because this creates the tree rings that you were talking about. Ah, I understand. Great idea. Let's get started. bit too old to create one for every year so here's my example it has six circles here are mine i think there's about 10. now we need to glue them all together Now that they're glued together, what do we do with them? Well, now we want to write our story in each ring. So in the middle ring, I would probably put that I was born. So what happened to you when you were one, Autumn? Uh, my sisters were born. That's awesome. So keep doing that for every year of your life. If you need some help, ask the adults in your life. So these are your life stories. Now we want to hang them up. So I'm going to punch a hole in the top with a hole punch. Autumn, are you going to use a hole puncher or just a pencil to make a hole? Yeah, I'm going to use the compass that I used earlier to draw my circles because it has a sharp end. Now we thread some string through it so we can hang it up. And if you want, you can add a new ring on your birthday every year to add to your story and find somewhere awesome to hang it up. Here is my tree ring that I made earlier. Wow, Valerie, yours is a lot more rings than the ones we just made. Must be because you're a little bit older. Exactly. So as we're looking at our amazing tree rings, I was thinking it's kind of sad that we have to cut down these trees to learn all about their history, Anna. Yeah, that would be really, really sad. Fortunately, scientists have a special tool called a tree corer, and they use this to take a tiny section from inside the tree 
and look at the rings that way. So we don't have to cut down the tree to know things about the past, like climate and growing conditions. That's good. It'd be pretty bad if we had to cut down all these trees. So it's great that we can leave them standing up to grow for many more years. Totally. Thank you so much, Autumn, for teaching us about tree rings today. It's been so much fun and I've learned a lot. You're welcome. Thanks for joining us, everyone. Have fun creating your tree ring story. Bye. Bye. Thank you so much for watching Future Energy Systems video. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of our exciting content. Check out the links below to our website and learning page where you can find activities, learning extension, and more. You can also sign up on the website for notifications for future videos and interactive opportunities. There's so much to learn as we explore our energy future.